In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good Saint Dymphna, great wonder worker in every affliction of mind and body, I humbly implore your powerful intercession with Jesus through Mary, the health of the sick, in my present need. Saint Dymphna, martyr of purity, patroness of those who suffer with nervous and mental afflictions, beloved child of Jesus and Mary, pray to them for me and obtain my request. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Dymphna, Virgin and Martyr, pray for us. Lord, let thy peace fill me up until I overflow, that where people cannot speak, I may be their advocate, that where anyone is rejected, I may extend my arms and welcome, that where parents are heavy burdened, I may offer a word of comfort, that where our children struggle, I may lift them up and cheer, that where some see disability, I may reveal to them extraordinary gifts, that where others judge, I may share with them my deep gladness, and that where any are overlooked, I may help the lights of all to shine. O giver of these gifts, grant that I may not so much seek to be reassured as to reassure, to be praised as to praise, to be accepted as to accept. For it is in all our uncertainty that we are inspired to hope. It is in great challenges that we discover our greatest joys and it is in community of wanderers that we find the way home. Lord, you said, I came that they may have life and may have it abundantly. We pray for the gift of abundant life for all who are living with autism spectrum disorders. We pray for the children and adults on the spectrum who struggle to understand how the social world operates and therefore have difficulties fitting in. Please allow them to experience dignity and the joy in life that their natural anxieties at times prohibit them from. We pray for their parents and other family members whose challenge is to never lose hope as they work hard with love to guide and discipline. Keep us mindful of the strength with which you grant to anyone who asks for it and help us to share our faith in you with individuals in all developmental stages. We pray for catechists and teachers, especially when they don't understand that the persistent talking out or unusual behaviors that a person on the spectrum may demonstrate are not meant to undermine their authority. Help them to see the gifts of these individuals through your eyes and through those of the people who love them most. We pray for members of our faith communities that they replace their stares and looks of disapproval with understanding and compassion for people on the spectrum who daily face great challenges yet are trying to live the abundant life you have called them to. Give them the grace to include your most vulnerable people in the full life of the church. We ask this in your name, Christ Jesus. Amen. O oh, my Lord Jesus, I beg of you, if it be your will, healing from this affliction, that as you taught us in the garden, not my will, but thine. Lord Jesus Christ, by your patience and suffering, you hallowed earthly pain and gave us the example of obedience to your Father's will. Be near me in my time of weakness and pain. Sustain me by your grace that my strength and courage may not fail. Heal me according to your will. 
Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Glorious Archangel St. Raphael, great prince of the heavenly court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels. Because you are the medicine of God, I humbly pray to you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask of you the favor of help in my affliction of autism and the great grace of purity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mary, my mother, teach me to understand my suffering as you do and to endure it in union with the suffering of Jesus. In your motherly love, calm my fears and increase my trust in God's loving care. According to God's plan, obtain for me the healing I need. I wish, my Lord, to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you with the spirit and fervor of the saints. Soul of Christ, be my sanctification. Body of Christ, be my salvation. Blood of Christ, fill all my veins. Water of Christ's side, wash out my stains. Passion of Christ, my comfort be. O oh, good Jesus, listen to me. In thy wounds I fain would hide, ne'er to be parted from thy side. Guard me should the foe assail me, call me when my life shall fail me. Bid me come to thee above, with thy saints, to sing thy love, world without end. Amen. Dearest Jesus, let your precious body and blood mix with mine and travel through my body, healing me of all my fears and all my sicknesses, and fill me with your peace. Let your precious body and blood mix with mine and flow throughout my being. Make me into what you would want me to be, that I might love like you. Generous Lord, I offer to you all my discomforts, my disappointments, my sufferings, my sorrows, my trials, my temptations, for all those in need, and in particular for those on my heart, that I may cling unwaveringly to the cross of Jesus as I move steadfastly through my own, with determination and with intention for alleviation of the pain propagated throughout this world by the hateful one who will be fully, justly, and perpetually condemned to his own execrable oblivion. In compassion for his victims, in gratitude for your mercy, and in the love you have instilled in our hearts, I proclaim highest praise to our Heavenly Father, to his risen Son, and to the Most Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, thank you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>